Hello everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. I'm the iTunes family and today I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade your iPod Touch 2nd generation all the way to iOS 2.1.1. So let's get started. So first thing that you need to do is... I'm just going to be changing my watch face for a second because it shows my same name. There we go. So as you can tell, so the first thing that you need to do on your iPod Touch 2nd generation is you need to go into the settings application, go into general, and about. And as you can tell, when it comes to the to the model right here, it has to say, it has to say, as you can tell right here, the first two letters have to be MB. As you can tell, this one says PB, so it cannot be down downgrade to iOS 2, it just has to stick be never updated. Or else if you have an MC model, you cannot downgrade. So after checking that to make sure iPod is downgradable, there are still a few other things that you'll need. So for starters, you depending on whether you have a 32-bit system or a 64-bit system, you'll need to download iTunes 10.6, which is a 64-bit version or iTunes 10.6.3, which is a 32-bit version, depending on what Windows system you have, because if you're on a Mac, you have to have a really, really old Mac OS, because we're using a really old version of iTunes here. The last thing that you'll need is obviously your IPSW right here. And please ignore these ads like these, these are scams. So now I've got that situated, now we can go ahead and go onto the tutorial. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to go into your file explorer. You'll need to go into the music tab. You want to click on iTunes, right click it, and go to delete. If you have an iTunes folder. The next thing that you want to do is you want to open up control panel. So on Windows 7 and below, you just go to the start. And as you can tell right here, there will be a control panel thing right here. If I zoom in a little bit, or if I change, adjust the camera a little bit. But if you're on Windows 8 or 10 or 11, <coughs> you'll want to go into the start, start menu where you search up things. And you want to search up for control panel. So anyhow, open it. Go to uninstall program. And then anything that you, if you see anything that is published by has a publisher of Apple Inc on it, you just want to make go ahead and uninstall it. So basically, anything that smells like apples, you want to get rid of on the computer, except for the iTunes installer and the IPSW because you'll need that. So yeah, I'll get back to you once. As you can tell, you may have this issue. Just click OK, and then it'll just delete. But yeah, so I'll get back to you once everything is deleted. Okay, so once you've got uninstalled everything, you want to go over and locate your iTunes installer. So as you can tell, mine's way over there. So you just want to open it, open, open it, go ahead and click next, install. And just like that, we'll go ahead and start installing iTunes, the, iTunes, the version of iTunes that you need. And as you can tell, look at all these old devices that they advertise. But yeah. As you can tell, if you have trouble connecting your i, as you can tell, now you'll need to connect your iPod Touch to iTunes or your computer. So once you've gotten it connected to your computer and it's loaded up and everything, what you want to do is enter DFU mode. So in order to do this, hold the power and home button for 10 seconds, and then if I let go of the home button, we'll keep holding the home button for 15 seconds or until iTunes detects it again. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. as you can tell, my computer is coming up with the USB device not recognized thing. So this is another classic issue that I've encountered, so just replug it in and then obviously my computer will waste time installing device driver software. So we'll just waste time doing that. Because we all know, what, because all Windows 7 users know that loves to waste time. 
this, so yeah, I'll get back to you once the device driver software is fully installed. Girl, Windows 10 shouldn't be doing that, but obviously I'm on Windows 7, so it will say you're, you've detected iTunes has detected an iPod in recovery mode, and that you must restore this iPod before it can be used in iTunes. It's actually DFU mode. iTunes just says that for some reason. And so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click. And if you want to press, if you're on Mac, you on Mac you want to hold down the option key at the same time as clicking your store but if you're on a pc you want to hold the shift key while also clicking their store thing so as you can tell shift in your store and that should take you to the file system the file explorer so locate your ipsw as you can tell of mine is ipod 2 comma 1 i 2.1.1 ipsw so just click that click open and just like that we'll start restoring the software where and I'll be back to you once this is done. All right, so as you can tell, I have successfully, as you can tell, I have successfully downgrade, I and hopefully you two have successfully downgraded your iPod Touch second generation to iOS 2.1.1. So just to show you proof, I'll go into settings, general, and about right here. And as you can tell, I have successfully downgraded to 2.1.1. So now you can just enjoy your iPod, so touch on iOS too. So if you enjoy this video, please give this video a like and also please subscribe to my channel if you want more downgrade tutorials like this because I have plenty on my channel. And as always, peace out.